The Wilborg Hart game. Uh, just that moment for you here. Everyone chanting, we want Burghart. And then the bench getting into it. Ryan's pumping him up. Yeah. Then you hit the three and everyone explodes. I mean, just that, that kind of moment, one of those that stays with you for the rest of your life. For sure. I mean, this is an unforgettable moment. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty nervous when I got in there. And then as soon as that three went in, I just I lost all train of thought. I was just enjoying the moment. It was a really, really good feeling. Mike, just from your standpoint, you know, he comes in for you. You're watching kind of uh, from the sideline. You just kind of see this all go down. I mean, how special is that for you as guys both being seniors to watch Will get that moment? Man, it's a special moment. Um, you know, Will is a great teammate. You know, he's been there for us in practice, working hard all year, um, helping us in tremendously ways. And, uh, you know, he deserved his moment. You know, so I'm happy he got to get out there and uh, make the shot. You know, for both of you guys, uh, your last game at Beasley, your last regular season game at Beasley, just, you know, uh, obviously only one year here for both of you, but just the, the memories you had here and kind of what do you kind of take away from this and this legacy that you've you've left here and that you've been able to experience at, at Beasley and at Washington State? Uh, you know, it was a big, big growth year for me. Um, you know, I learned a lot this year. Um, I'm appreciative. Um, you know, we still obviously got a lot of season left. But, um, you know, um, I just wanted to leave a legacy just to um, help build the culture. You know, I know, um, you know, big things can happen here. And um, that's what we wanted to start, um, be a part of that. So um, look forward to the future. And we're just trying to keep building. Noah, really good game for you. 19 points, eight assists. Uh, you know, you draw five fouls. You're in attack mode. You're, you know, steals. It's just kind of the, a microcosm of a Noah Williams game in, in a lot of ways. I'm just, you know, how, how did you kind of approach it with a different mindset, different aggressiveness, or was it just kind of what you normally do and just, uh, you know, getting hot early and then and then feeding off the energy in the crowd? Um, I mean, I try to come with the same energy every game. I mean, I had my ups and downs all season. But, um, it just felt good to see the ball go in for the first shot. So I knew it was up from there. And... My teammates kept on finding me. So, I mean, I had easy looks, so I just kept on shooting. It felt good. You know, over the last few games, you're starting to – your three-point percentage is coming up a little bit. It seems like, you know, a lot more of the threes are going down um, than early in the year. Did you alter something, or is it just kind of uh, feeling a little more confident, a little more smooth in, in your shot? Um, it's just trusting the process. I mean, last year, y'all see, I could still shoot. I mean, I could shoot. It just wasn't falling at the beginning, but just trusting the process and continue working and keeping the faith in God, knowing that, it, knowing that I could shoot. I mean, I'm going to continue to shoot and shoot and shoot, regardless if they're missing or not. I think it's fair to ask, uh, you know, has, has Will given you some lessons on, on how to hit some threes? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Will, he might be our uh, our best shooter on the team. I mean, I ain't seen him miss a three all season in practice. <laughs> free throws, I ain't seen him miss one of the free throws when it comes down to clutch time. Back. He ain't, I'm telling you, man, he don't miss that like that. So when, I, when he shot that joint, I knew it was cash. I told him to pull it, too. I was yelling out at the bench. I was like, you know, if you touch the ball, you got to shoot it. <laughs> Nothing else is going but shooting. You know, that's for any of you guys. You know, you're heading into the conference tournament now. Three straight wins. Um, you know, kind of getting on a little bit of a roll here. Won four of your last five. You know, how important is it to have that rhythm and have that flow going into to obviously a situation where you know you win or you go home in the conference tournament, and, and knowing that you win it all, you're going dancing. Uh, it's huge. Um, you know, this was a great win tonight. Um, you know, we played one of our best complete games tonight, um, and I sure. feel like it was perfect timing. Um, you know, we um, you know last game of the season, last game in Beasley, senior night. You know, so there's just great momentum going into the conference tournament in Las Vegas. Um, whoever we play first game, um, you know, just be ready and take it a game at a time. Yes, sir. Hey, fellas, uh, Luke Kilgore, KUGR Radio. Um, congratulations on a huge win. Uh, nine Cougs in the scoring column today. Uh, Noah, you had a, a wonderful a wonderful game, 19 and 8. What made it so easy to share the sugar today? I mean, <laughs> it, it, was, it was really just past, uh, uh, excuse me, you guys had 21 assists compared to their 10. What made it so easy to just move the ball around and get shots up? Um, just trusting our offense, keeping the ball moving. Um, they play in a drop, so it's easy to find the rollers because you got to, you know, you draw the big and you got the dump off. And then uh, you got people that are sagging off on my boy right here, Andre. He's a hell of a shooter. So, I mean, you got to be silly if you're sagging off Andre. It's easy to find him. Mike's, <laughs> Mike, you can't leave him open, you know. Just we sharing the ball and just playing together, staying together. Um, it's pretty much how we got all them assists. Uh, Will, what, literally one of the most magical moments I've ever been <laughs> and I've ever been able to experience in Beasley Coliseum. Um, when you received the basketball, everyone in the whole arena knew that you were going to get the ball. Did it matter what hands were in your face? If you're triple covered, are you still pulling that? I, I was to the point where if I got the ball, I was going to shoot it no matter what. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone was telling me to. The crowd was chan chanting my name. So when I, I, I had it already figured out when I caught the ball, I'm, I'm going to let it go. It was destined to go. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, it definitely felt like fate. Uh, Michael, for you, 
after a tremendous season. Uh, what do you feel like your mark is leaving the Cougs in your last home game in Beasley? Uh, you know, I just wanted to lead a mark of, um, you know, um, just experience. You know, I came in with a lot of experience um, and just wanted to help my teammates, you know, um, you know, not make some of the mistakes that I might have made to help put them in a better situation, you know, and, um, you know, just trying to build something special, you know, build a culture, um, create something new, um, you know, so I just feel like it's, um, you know, something that can be special made here, and I just wanted to help contribute to that, so got more I th- to do. <laughs> I think you've uh, really left the program in, in great hands. How do you think that this huge blowout win over Oregon, I'm sure that that, uh, that last loss against them left a really bad taste in your guys' mouth. Uh, how, how do you think this prepares you guys for the Pac-12 tournament? I think it prepares us very very good. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know who we play. Um, we don't know, but I don't think it matters. Um, after a win like that, you know, this type of momentum, you know, we, we bring it on anybody. You know, whoever we play first round, you know, we're going to be ready to play. And, you you know, better lace their shoes tight. You know, feel say. Yeah, we lacing our shoes the same way they do, and we're ready to fight. So um, let's get it. Hi, I'm Trevor John from KUGR Radio. And how, what's the feel like in the locker room right now? Are you guys just electric all over the place? How do you guys feel going into the tournament? Uh, we got our music on right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're dancing around. Coach is coming there, hitting his Dougie. We're having a good time. <laughs> That's what it's looking like in the locker room right now. It's great vibes right now. Great vibes. But we're going to turn the page tomorrow and be ready. Um, you know, lock in to the next opponent. You know, but right now we're enjoying this. Uh, at any point throughout the week, uh, building up to this game, was it a uh, topic of conversation of, hey, it's senior day, you know, the crowd's going to be here, national television, we got to step up our game? Uh, you know, we kind of approached it as just, you know, another game. You know, we knew it was senior night. You know, coach, you know, reminded us of that, you know, obviously, you know. But at the end of the day, um, we had a chance to do something special, um, you know, um, another historical win for the program. You know, they let us know it's been about over 10 years since um, Washington State has won as many Pac-12 games or whatever. So 14 to be record. exact, I think. Yeah, 14, 14 to be exact, right. So, I mean, um, it was a special, special opportunity for us, and we wanted to take full advantage of it. And we're just happy we got the win. Uh, Gunnar Miller, Wazi Sports Network. I was kind of wondering, like, what do you guys feel like you need to do offensively and defensively going into the Pac-12 tournament to make a run at it? Um, I think we got to just stay together mentally. Um, we're a hard team to score over. We got Mo and Fa that come come through and block shots when we're sloughing on the on-ball defense. Um, Offensively, like we should stay together and just keep on passing, keep on um, keep on sharing the rock. Everything should fall in, fall into place. Sir. For any three guys, uh, it seems like the timing and the patience of your guys' offense, and you know, two of the last three games were two of your better offensive games. Has that been kind of hammered home? You know, season high in assists tonight too. Just kind of making that extra pass and, and being a little bit pa- more patient on offense. Definitely, um, we've been trying to. Get, we've been talking about getting a lot of better shots. Um, Shot, shot selection has been key on the um, on the whiteboard, so um, just trying to find open open looks, not trying to force too much. And and Mike, what, what did it mean for you to have kind of the whole team kind of uh, accompany you out on, on senior night? Uh, that's a special moment, you know. Um, you know that wasn't planned. Um, it was something that just happened. So I appreciate them. You know these are my brothers. I love them, and you know we trying to keep playing. So let's keep going. So. Which coaches can Dougie and how? Like, I need I need a I need who Dougie and I need I need grades here. I mean I, I I'm kind of scared to see who could possibly Dougie. Uh, <laughs> Coach Smith A plus Dougie. A plus yeah I give him an A plus. Coach Shaw. God it was Coach Smith Shaw. it was only Smith. it was only Coach Smith. I would love to see Shaw out there hitting this Dougie. Right. Yeah. I would love to. Any other uh, real questions for uh, the guys? <laughs> Any other? Okay. Well, Talk in the back, back. from like uh, from down now, under. Uh, Will, yeah. one question: How were you feeling on the bench when they all started chanting your, your name? Uh, that was probably the most nervous I've been in my whole life, to be honest. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But one one for one on your career. I think that play, beats Clay Thompson's career percentage. So congratulations. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. But, 